Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, it's that time again, it's the time where we're not gonna play Asphalt 8, instead we're gonna talk about what has been happening recently in the game. And of course I'm talking about the new patch and the new Treasure Rush events. Now, I wanted to go point by point in checking the patch notes, but the reality is that they tend to talk mostly about the same thing that I'm gonna be just covering in this video, so it doesn't make sense for me to read everything. So I'm gonna skip this whole thing, including the Treasure Rush and Fortune Rabbit Season Pass, we'll talk about that. Balancing adjustment, this is where it gets interesting, because if you remember in the previous patch, um, by the way, if you're curious, there's gonna be a link in the top right appearing, where you can see the previous review of the, or the review of the previous patch notes. But anyway, in this particular update, they only did one single car. I don't understand why they only rebalanced one car. In the, previous, in the previous patch, they did about 100 cars, a little under 100. That was a lot of cars, and I understand that that might have been a bit too overkill for the team. And this time, instead, they went in the completely opposite direction, and they just adjusted one. I don't understand why just one. Five, I would understand. Ten, I would be happy with. One, at that point, just don't do any, you know? What's the point of just focusing on one single car? I don't understand, but oh well. And we also have the uh, bug fixes, uh, mostly about visibility with UI, things like that. And some peculiar, what would I call them, very unique problems to certain devices. Fix an issue with the track name displays which occurred on certain devices. Fix, fix an issue controllers, uh, well this is about controllers and master key, uh, some connection issues. This one is a curious one, that you could select the dodge dart in the TBS Apache event, you remember that. When that thing started and not everybody got the bike gifted initially, you could select the Dodge Dart. So apparently they fixed that. Uh, some other other stuff that I really don't think it matters too much for me to cover in this video. Because I don't know necessarily every single one of these bugs, so it doesn't make sense for me to try to cover it. But I thought it was interesting to just mention it. Um, so yeah, like I said, these patch notes are really not that interesting, to be completely honest. And I understand that probably a lot of the development time in this patch went into doing the 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 the, the new car added in the game, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Year of the Rabbit Edition, whatever the hell that that thing is called. So if we look at the game itself, we're gonna first check the season pass. And man, what can I say about the season pass that I haven't said before? Um, it is clear that this is just the new norm, and I mean, it is not really anything surprising. Uh, it has been like this for the past couple of seasons, so it's been, what, like four months that it's... Maybe a little less, three months or something like that, that it, it's been the exact same thing. $30 to get the, the premium pass, uh, $40 if you want to get the premium plus. Obviously, this is in my local currency, so this is $30. This one is $40. So for $30, you get the premium stuff. For $40, you get the a, a bunch of coins and a thousand storage slots which is you know those are useful but for 40 dollars that seems way 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 too much and way too much we're talking about that it's over half the price of a full triple eight console game so yeah that's that's kind of nuts now as far as the rewards really they're i, I almost don't want to cover this because it's basically the exact same bull that was on the previous one where they're just giving you less and less rewards each time, but obviously the main attraction continues to be the ultimate upgrade that is given in, in the first page and in the last page. So you get two ultimate upgrades and you can get some additional cars. Over here you would get the Dutch Tomahawk bike, and if you don't have it, then instead you get the, the Fusion Coins. From what I hear, they actually remove 500,000 Fusion Coins from the total amount of, of rewards. I mean, it's not that that's a lot. 500,000 is equivalent to two upgrades of Class S, so, you know, 2 out of 40, so it's not like, wow, that's a ton. That's still useful, but yeah, they, they apparently cut that off. Um, as far as everything else, it's you can literally just watch the previous review that I did of the previous season, and you'll get the exact same idea. Very few upgrades. Yeah, 20 parts were unit 55. Uh, 30 were unit 55. 20 were unit 55. 10 were unit 55. You, you see what I'm saying? They give you some uh, direct upgrades, but, I mean... Don't get me wrong, they're useful, but five for a premium of $30, I would expect a little more. A class D key, a class B key, um, four S class upgrades, but I guess they're the equivalent of a million fusion coins, so I guess you could look at it that way. Um, then over here you can get the Arena Husaria, which is a card that I would like to get, but not for $30, let me tell you that. Uh, again, some parts over here, finally they're giving a bit more parts. Oh no, wait a second, these are, these are wild cards. Eh, still useful. In Classy, they're not necessarily super rare, but they're something. 
Um, more parts, some direct upgrades. I, I, in fact, I think it's different cars, but I'm so bored of this whole thing that I don't even care too much about looking up what car it is that you can get. Uh, some additional parts, some fusion coins, some direct upgrades, five, eight direct upgrades for Class E, wow. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I'm very salty about this whole thing, what can I say? Then, uh, same thing, some parts, some maybe some car over here. I know that over here you will get the Lamborghini SC20, which, to be fair, it's one of the best Lamborghinis in Class A, if not maybe the best. Uh, it handles fantastic, it has really good nitro, so that is a car that is, eh, I think... And, and I see what they did here. In the previous one they did, the, they gave the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, I think it was. Uh, the one that only has one color. Yeah, so they're also giving another Class A car over here. So, that means they no longer even give Class S cars. That's it. Not even that. Now, something else that bothers me a lot is the fact that this is the Fortune Rabbit season because of the Chinese New Year and all of that. And yet... The the fortune I mean the, the new year Chinese New Year car is not here. And you know I'm talking about the, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which obviously now it's on the treasure rush. Of course. Why wouldn't they add the car that that the, the whole theme of the entire season? Why not give it on the season? Instead, let's put it on its own separate thing in its own gambling situation. Because why not? You know that that's how Game Love does it. Uh, if you remember in the first three seasons that they added for this game. Each one of the seasons basically had a, a flagship flagship car for the the season. So for the first one, which was the Neon season, and if you, if you went premium, you would get the DMC DeLorean Neon Edition, and that was kind of cool. So you went premium, you got actually this season was amazing, obviously. Um, you would get a lot of cars, you would get a lot of a lot of upgrades, and you would also get the flagship car. Granted, it's still kind of a pain in the in the buttocks. To, to upgrade, but because they didn't give you kits for this car, they didn't give you a whole lot to upgrade this car, but I guess you could ultimate upgrade, upgrade it. So that was in the first season. The se second season, all right, I had to make a pause because I completely forgot over there which, which was the second, the second season, but I remember now, and it was the anniversary, um, anniversary season, and for that, if you went premium, you will get the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Anniversary Edition by going premium. In that one, so you would get some cars, you would get some upgrades, and you would get the flagship car. The third season was the, uh, what was it called? The Gangster, uh, Gangster v Vegas, I think. That was what the season was called. And again, go premium, you get the flagship car. And obviously I did, and I got those flagship, flagship cars. Even then, at that point, it was already starting to get worse and worse rewards. And like I said from a long time ago, that was kind of expected that. It was just going to get worse and worse, but yeah. This is the car that you would get. But after that, in the gold season, you did not get any flagship car. There was no flagship car, nothing designed for that. Then there was the winter season. There was no flagship car for that season. But now we're in the in the Fortune Rabbit season and there's a flagship car, but you cannot get it through the season. You have to participate in the treasure rush. And oh man, let me tell you that I'm still upset with this whole thing of the treasure rush. If you missed it, I also made a video where I talked about the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute Treasure Rush, where I talked about how that was a lot of bull that they just added back gambling into the game. That whole RNG element and the chances to get the car were obnoxiously uh, low, which in a way made sense, right? Because it, it's the new king of the game and all of that BS. So, all right, whatever. Now, this is a recurring thing, apparently. We're apparently going to be getting more of this type of events, which is still a lot of bull I, what can I say? I just hate this whole idea of going into gambling territory. I have played enough of Asphalt 9 to know that adding this level of RNG to rewards leads to nothing but a lot of, of frustration and money spending for anybody that is committed to getting any of this. So, now one thing that is worth mentioning, and I say this with a big, um, what would you say, with a great big grain of salt, is that they mention that the the chances the, the chance to get the main reward in the super round is 174 times bigger oh my god from 0. 0, uh, 0. 0.017 percent to three percent so yeah obviously it's a much bigger uh, chance to get it but that's still make no mistake that's still pretty low because that means a three percent obviously that means one in 33 chances for you to 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 get it 
So you need to go into the super round 33 times in, on average. We're talking about, you know, statistic, I suppose. The statistical probability. Uh, you need to go in here 33 times to maybe unlock the car. Well, to possibly unlock the car. So that's that's still a lot. How many times have you, did you get to, to this thing in the previous treasure rush? I guarantee you, it wasn't 33 times. Now, don't get me wrong. This still means that there's going to be a lot more people that are going to be able to unlock this car through just randomness alone. And that is fine. But uh, let's be honest. This is just gambling because there's going to be a lot of people who are like, oh, I really want the car. So let me get the, the, the dice. And then you start, you know, going in the same thing of spending money to buy some dice to maybe get a chance to unlock the car. And I say maybe get a chance. It's not even to get a chance to unlock the car. Because you buy these blue dice to maybe land here to then maybe win this car. That is why I think this is a lot of bullshit. Because really, it's just straight up gambling. Now, there's a parenthesis that I want to make because in the previous uh, Treasure Rush, apparently, uh, you could still get the Conex Agiesco Absolute by just paying money outright. Because apparently, once you start buying some of these packs, or I don't know if it's this or where you buy them, uh, they start giving you points, this type of golden points. So I think it was somewhere around $150 or $200 that you needed to spend to guarantee 100% that you were going to get the car because you would get just enough points um, to get to the to the reward. In this case, uh, in, in that event, it was an ultimate upgrade first and then the Konex Jesco Absolute. Now this time it's some upgrade in one or some, I don't know. Uh, and then you get the car. So probably you can still do that over here. I certainly hope that if you can unlock it by spending money, they also reduce the amount of money that you need. Because um, man, $150 for the Koenig Sek Yesco Absolute was already out of their minds. But that's same amount for this card, yeah, I don't think so. Although it seems that they do, did reduce the, the amount of this, what are these things called? Treasure points needed in order to get this car how much i don't remember actually i think it says on the patch notes doesn't it um uh, the final premium blah 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 just from yeah okay yeah yeah there we go so they did reduce it from 7500 to 4500 so we're talking about that's what like a 30 30 percent uh what's the, uh, the opposite of inc increment the de de decrement <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, they reduced it by about 30%, right? So I suppose instead of $150, it's only going to be $100. Only. Only that. So it's completely up to you. So anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty salty about this whole thing. Um, I kind of like this car, to be completely honest. It does look very cool. Would I like to get it? Absolutely. But, you know, I, I can guarantee you I'm not going to spend $100 or so to get this car. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like I said, with that money, you can just easily buy it. Forza Horizon 5 or whatever you want one big proper game rather than this type of thing but oh well like I said before it's your money you can do whatever you want with it so I'm not trying to judge anybody for it I'm just saying what I am not going to do now something else that I do want to briefly mention is the fact that Game Loop just f***ing lied to us that's it what am I talking about the fact that I don't have any dice none and I just started I haven't uh, claimed anything or anything. nothing. I haven't rolled it once. I'm still in the starting. Stop it with that thing. Um, I'm still in the starting slot over here. And why do I say that they're lying? Well, let me remind you of something that happened in the previous. Um, after the Connex Jesco Absolute thing ended, we were still gaining dice. And Gameloft, let me remind you, Gameloft said, Where is it? Over here. Don't worry, the dice you claim now will be available in the next treasure rush. Oh, really, Gameloft? Really? Where are they? Because I don't have any. And I can guarantee you I was doing Gauntlet daily. Now, this message was posted in January the 5th. And today is the 17th. So we're talking about 12 days that I've done Gauntlet daily. So I should at least have 12 dice plus the ones that I got from this type of things and whatnot. Where are they? Nowhere to be found. So what is it, Gameloft? You just lied again. Why not? I always try to be very charitable with mistakes that happen, but because, you know, there, there has been some big errors, like when they started the car hunt, then they said that the car hunt was going to be completed if you finished uh, all of the tasks and that was a blade and light. It was not possible. And then they sort of fixed it, but they never acknowledged the fact that they messed it up. And that is kind of what bothers me, the lack of acknowledgement. And it's kind of the same thing over here. They said that one thing was going to happen and it's not there. So my 14 dies. Nowhere to be found, 12, 14, however many they were. 
So, yeah, I, and now as far as what I'm am I gonna do in this particular event, I'm gonna get my, my dice, of course. I'm gonna buy some extra dice, because to be completely honest, there is something to be said about this part, these things being useful. Uh, right now they're giving upgrades for class A rather than S, so that is not as valuable, but I suppose it's still valuable. So, those are all right. Especially this. These are the most, well, not so much the class D. But these are very, very useful, so it's it's a bit of a question of should I spend whenever I get one of these orange, what are they called, golden? Ultimate dice. Once I get one of these, should I use it in order to guarantee an upgrade or go over here and gamble the chance to get the card? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just going to roll my dice because, you know, might as well content. But yeah, I mean, I'm extremely disillusioned by, by this whole thing. Oh, hey, a class S, I'll take it. Um, I'm extremely disillusioned by this whole thing because, look, and somebody said this in the previous video where I was criticizing this entire system, saying like, DBT, you're being extremely negative. You're getting good rewards over here and you're still complaining about it. True, true. But my complaint is not about this thing, although it kind of is because it's still randomness and all of that BS. My real complaint is about the fact that you cannot get the, the car or you need to spend a dumb amount of money in order to do that. And that is my main complaint. Over here, yeah, sure, you can get some good rewards, and in a way, that's fine. But again, where are my extra dices, Skimlock? I don't know. It's it's a mess. It's a mess. So as you can see, I'm not happy at all with this update. Um, the patch notes were extremely underwhelming. There were very... Well, there was only one rebalance, which was the thing that I was honestly looking the most for for the patch. Um, so that is going to be S. The season is going to be S. The treasure rush is going to be S. So what is there for us to do that are not partaking too much into pay to win mechanics? Well, just keep the constant daily grind and that's that. So, yeah, what can I say? Sorry if this video came out came out extremely ranty, but I can help to, to rant uh, at this type of situation. The game is in a very bad state at the moment where the, the push for pay to win in the season pass, not even pay to win. It's just pay, straight up pay, and just get a couple things here and there. That this push is getting ridiculous. Um, this event with the with the uh, gambling, it's getting ridiculous. There, the car hunts are worse and worse and worse. Imagine asking uh, the game asking you to pay. How much is this? Like, uh, how much is that? Hold on, ten dollars? No, it's less than ten dollars. Eight dollars, something like that. Um, to get the Remac. C1, that's the card that you would get over here, which is, I mean, the concept board. It's a terrible card. It's a terrible card. And over here, I don't remember what card you would get. I mean, really? A card that you can buy for credits, they're asking you to pay like $7 or something? No, thank you. I I, I really am extremely disappointed with this whole thing. It's it's unbelievable, the, the path that the game is taking. And unfortunately, it is all of us that are allowing Gameloft to get away with it because we keep on paying. So, hey, again, I'm not trying to shame anybody. I did go premium in the previous pass at the very end uh, in order to get the ultimate upgrade in order to upgrade a car that you chose. So in a way, I am also guilty about this. So don't think I'm trying to pass judgment. I'm just saying that in the end, it's all of our fault. And well, what can we do? Sadly, we're stuck over here and that's that. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed the rant. And if not, well, there's still more stuff that that, that is coming. Today I was supposed to be posting a, a video on Gauntlet, but that is going to have to be tomorrow, so don't mess it out. Um, it's going to be an interesting one, uh, a bit of an underdog situation, but I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun to watch. Um, but for now, why don't you check this video where I reviewed the previous terrible treasure rush of the Iconic Set Yes Absolute, or maybe check this other one where I used the ultimate upgrade in the card that you chose. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye.